Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Um, I'm sober now, right now. All right, okay. It's almost Friday, guys. It's almost Friday. Yeah. Yes, let's resist a little bit. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, I can see bodies. Hello, bodies, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine, thank you. Excellent, very good. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Excellent, okay, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being on time. Today is Thursday. We are about to finish our first week. All right, so today we are going to have a lot of practice. We are going to check new topic today. Okay, so uh, do you remember what we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. Yes, no, a little bit. Hmm. So you don't remember? Oh my goodness. Uh, remember the content in um, sometimes, sometimes, certainly, Central. yes, Central. that's Central. correct. That's correct. We were talking about some uh, structures, right? Some phrases, certainty and uncertainty expressions. Very good job. What else? What else uh, were we talking about yesterday? Let's see if you remember. Uh -huh. Hmm, you don't remember. Distribution channel for the product. Very good, exactly. We were talking about distribution channels for a product. Excellent job. So today we are going to continue talking. Okay, as I mentioned, we are going to check a new topic. If you remember yesterday, um, we had an activity, but we couldn't finish the activity, okay? So we are going to continue and the groups that didn't pass yesterday are going to present it today, all right? So I hope your classmate can join us soon. Thank you so much for the one who has the camera on. Actually, I can see only two people with the camera on and the rest of you guys, Camera on, please. I want to see you. Ah, that's great. I can see three people already. Very good. So everybody, don't forget it. Camera on, please. It's not optional. Excellent. Very good. I can Leaving see more show. people. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Uh, I'm tired. Tired? Yes. I'm happy, um, actually. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm happy to be here with you guys. Uh, I... And because he's almost Friday. <laughs> Do you work uh, on weekends? Um, no, this weekend I don't work. Ah, good but, for you. Uh, Saturday, uh -huh. my family and me, uh, we we are going to celebrate the birth of my mom. Oh, that's awesome. Very but, but good. Her, but, but her birthday is today. Oh, so her birthday is today, but you will celebrate it until the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Hey, congratulations <laughs> to your mom. <laughs> that's Thank excellent. You. Very good. That's great. All Thank right, you. guys. Anyone else? Oh, who was? There was someone, right? Celebrating birthday today. Um, who was the one? I think that it was Neftali, right? If I'm not wrong. He was the one who was celebrating his birthday, I guess. Well, who else? Is anyone else celebrating this week? You guys, no? No. 
Okay. Well, let's celebrate uh, with an exam. Do you want to have an exam today? Yes? No? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Now, before starting, let me ask you, are you working on the platform? Yes? Yes, I was working. Excellent. That's the attitude. Only Olise and you guys, are you working on the platform? In my case, no teacher today. Why? No. Yeah, I'm saying I work today. Tonight. Ah, uh -huh. okay. I hope so. Little by little, guys. Remember that tomorrow is Friday, and every Friday we are going to check your progress to see if you have been working in the first unit. Okay, so be careful with that. Anyway, let's start, everybody. Let me share the presentation with you. Can you see the presentation? Yes. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Excellent. Okay, everybody, today is June 29th. We are about to finish this month. We are working in the unit number one. And as I mentioned yesterday, we were talking about distribution channels for a product. Okay. Uh, we were talking about the homework. This was the activity that we had yesterday, but not all the teams could present. So we are going to finish today. Remember guys, you had to imagine that you had like your own business. You have to tell me what your product is. You had to tell me, um, what will you do? Are you going to be the manufacturer or the seller or both? And you have to tell me what kind of the distribution channel you will use. But of course, explain me why, okay? So let's be, let's see, let's see. The teams that passed yesterday, um, well, the team number one passed, that it was the team from Carlos, Edwin, and Eulise, right? You passed yesterday. Yes. Uh, also, yes. let's see, Kevin, Pamela, and Rafael, you passed yesterday. Right. <clears throat> Excellent. Uh, we have team number three that it was Boris, Elias, and Wilbur. Are you here, guys? Well, I have Boris, but Elias and Wilbur, you here, guys? I think I that I not. <laughs> So, buddies, you are the only one. You have to, to represent your team. <laughs> okay. Uh, what will be, what will be the, the product is uh, uh, we will sell uh, technology and, and device and, and um, their Accessory. Accessory. Ah, okay. That's interesting. Will you uh, will you be the manufacturer? No. I I uh retailer. Ah, okay. You will sell the product basically. Yes, yes. I I I I, I retailer is uh because I I started the the business. Mm, sounds good. So what kind of distribution channels will you use? Uh, the, 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 the channel distribution is, is a personal. Mm. personal uh, I'm sorry, is a... Okay, these are the... Uh, the, the, the the Which retail one? Channel. Retail? Retail, channel. retail Retail. Ah, retail. okay. Retail channel. Retail channel. Yes. Ah, okay. That makes sense. So you are going to be the retailer. You will sell the product, but you are not going to be the manufacturer. Yes. Ah, okay. Sounds interesting. You see, buddies, very good job. That's Thank it. You. Excellent. Okay, sounds good. Now you see, guys, you're analyzing, and that's what I want. 
Okay, I have another team. Uh, let's see, team number four, it was uh, Salvador, Nelson, and Osman. Uh -huh. Are you here, everyone? Uh, yes, I can see Osman, I can see Salvador, that's great. And uh, Nelson, yes, yes, Nelson is here too, very good. Okay, let me ask to Salvador. Salvador, tell me what was the product? I don't, yo no estuve con los, trabajando con los compañeros. Oh, you were in? Okay, so only Osman and Nelson, guys? Yes? Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> tell me, guys, what was the product? Uh, uh, good evening, everybody. In our, our case, uh, Nelson and I are uh, going to be a. Uh, 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 put a uh, into enterprise. We going to make a furnish furniture furniture. Eco uh, furniture. Furniture store. Ah, uh, eco furniture. Listen, eco guys, yeah. they, they yeah. are they are thinking about eco the environment. Furniture. Yeah, <laughs> thinking <laughs> thinking green. Ah, uh, okay, green. sounds good. Yes. And what else? Yeah. What else? Are you going to be the manufacturer? Yes, uh, yes, we are going to be manufacturer. Uh, we we are we are make the furniture. Uh, obviously, we going to buy the materials, mm -hmm. but we uh, we are going to sell direct to customer. Oh, okay. So Nelson, because we, okay, because we we have the control of the price. Yes. Ah. And we can we can get um, more price, more profit. Profit, yes. okay. Yes. So in that case, the distribution channels that you will use is direct channel. Direct, direct channel. channel. So basically, direct you manufacture channel. the product and you will sell the product directly to the customer. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. After we're going to show the furniture. Uh, that ah. Nelson and I, we are going to make. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, guys, if you want to buy some eco furniture, call you, Nelson you and Osman. I hope you buy. Right? <laughs> well, if it is not so expensive, I will. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, nevertheless, well. <laughs> mm, all right. Excellent job, guys. Very good job. I liked it. And well, the last but not least, I have team number five. In the team number five, I had Anna, um, Carlos, and Josman. Uh, let's see, I can see Josman. Yes, I can see who else? Who else? Ah, I can see Anna. Very good. And I can see, is Carlos here? Carlos Ernesto, of course. Okay, who is going to tell me the product? Uh huh. Volunteer? Uh, our product uh, is uh, cell phones. Uh, we are going to sell from uh, different brands. Uh -huh. Samsung, Motorola, Xiaomi, etc. Okay. Uh, and we are going to the four way commerce. Uh, and uh, let's see, Josman, will you be the manufacturer or will you only sell the phones? In this case, the, the good seller channel, because of the retail consumer in the idea, the, the idea, the business. Okay. Okay. Anna, what else can you tell us about the business? Uh, the business, uh, we think um, some brands of cell phone um, make and be a, a wholesaler and supply to a retailer. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. So basically, you are going to use the wholesale uh, distribution channel. Yes, it will 
will not um, we are in a manufacturer ah very good excellent guys nice idea uh, so will you expand your business in the whole country or will you be international too or only here in El Salvador? At the beginning, only here <laughs> in El Salvador. In the future, maybe uh, in around the world. That exactly. is the attitude. <laughs> nice job. I like that. Okay, everybody. Excellent job to all of you. I like the way that you are analyzing. And that's the idea. Okay. We have Speak theory, right. but I want you to express your ideas. Yes, Speak Stella. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if I want to to create a, a travel agency, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of uh, this distribution channel is? Well, that is a good question. We need to analyze the steps. Remember, guys, the key is think about the product. How many steps does the product need to take? until reaches the customer. In this case, if we are talking about a travel agency, what is the product, guys? It's a service. Okay, what kind the, of service? The, the, the trip. To mm. offer a trip, right? Offer um, an agency offers what? A hotel, right? Uh, you can travel to another country, so they also offer the flight ticket, yes? Yeah. And they sell it directly to the customer, yes or no? The travel agency sell the product or yes. in this case the service yes. directly? Yes. Yes. yes, but now I have a question. Are they the manufacturer? I mean, are they the owners of the hotels? Are they the owners of the travels or the flights? No, right? They have to buy the ticket for the airplane, right? They have to have that connection with the airlines. They have to have that contact with um, the hotels. So basically, in this case, it will be more like retail channels retail, retail mm -hmm. channel. because okay. they are the sailors. They sell the service to the customer, but they are not the manufacturer. The manufacturer, in this case, will be the owners of the hotels and the airlines. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Excellent. Very good. All right, everybody. Excellent job. I liked it. I hope that you continue developing your imagination and that creativity during the class. Excellent job. Now, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. And when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Excellent. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. All right. Um, Elias Neftali. Present teacher. All right. Eh, Eulise Torres. Present. Excellent. Jose Miguel. Okay, um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Josman Atilio. Josman Atilio. Okay. Um, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Okay, very good. Nelson Alberto. Present. All right. Osman Enrique. Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Rafael Alexander. Okay, I think he's listener. All right. Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. 
present. Very good, excellent. Okay, let's start. Um, today we are going to check a different topic. And let's see, let me share the presentation again. Guys, cameras, <laughs> why do you keep the camera off? My goodness, keep it on. I'm going to start asking questions directly to the people who has the camera off. Okay, um, Elias, you said that today is your birthday, right? Is it? Sure. Sorry. <laughs> ah, you look. <laughs> <laughs> so is it your birthday for real? Yeah, that's okay. right. Hey guys, let's congrats Elias uh, because of his birthday. Happy okay. birthday, thank Elias. You. Thank ah, you, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my. Birthday, birthday Elias. <laughs> I'm happy uh, I'm be here with you guys. Yeah, we are happy to keep you here. Congratulations. So, how old are you today? Um, <laughs> I am 26 years old. 26? Okay. Yeah. You are getting old. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Ah, come on. <laughs> All right, congratulations. I wish you the best, right? Thank you, teacher. Excellent. You. We don't oh. take, but we are waiting. Uh, mm, I like it. Um, I eat pizza and uh, a little piece of cake. And where where is our cake? Oh, uh, my, uh, my partners eat it all. Oh my goodness, no, no. Ah, that's pretty sad. <laughs> okay, yeah. nice. Well, okay, let's continue, but congratulations, Elias, guys. When it is your birthday, tell us so we can celebrate together, <laughs> all right? Okay. Now, this is the topic for today. Um, I need a volunteer for reading, please. Compare distribution options. Thank you. So today, guys, we are going to start studying basically comparison. Okay, that is like the main compare. purpose for today, this class. We are going to compare distributions compare. options. Compare. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is our class objective. By the end of the class, the idea, guys, is that you had to be able to talk using kind, um, different kinds of possible comparison. We are going to compare, okay? We are going to use equal comparison, comparative adjective, and superlative adjectives. That is the purpose for today's class, okay? So, uh, as always, we need to speak. I have prepared these questions and I want you to discuss these questions with your classmates. For example, look at the first question says, which is harder, math or English? What do you think, guys? Depend. Mm -hmm. Depend. Of what? Because if you, if you like English, maybe we'll be more easy. Uh, more easy. But easier? if you is easier, 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 mm -hmm. yes, easier. But if you you don't you don't like English and and you like a math, uh, it's best for someone. Mm, okay, that makes sense. How about you guys? Do you agree? For me, it's harder mm. English. Oh, so do you like math? Yes. Ah, uh, like. okay, pretty good. And you guys, everybody, what do you think? Math or English? Which one is harder? Yeah, English. <laughs> <laughs> English. All right. Who else? English as well. Uh, math, really? for me, English. math is harder than English for me. Okay, all right. Me too, teacher. Math. Math harder <laughs> than English for me. Okay. It's, cool, uh, it's were were difficult to me. All right. 
So it depends on the person, right? For some people, math are easier. For some people, English is easier than math. So if you see here, we are comparing. We are comparing math and English. So um, we are going to practice these questions with our classmates, okay? I want you to give your opinion. And if you are not sure, remember guys, the idea is to use the vocabulary. So if I ask you like, for example, does technology make the world better or worse? So if you are not sure, you can say, I'm not 100% sure, but I think, da -da 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 -da. okay? Or you can say, mm, I think uh, technology makes the world better because this and this and this. So the idea is if you have certainly used the phrases, if you are not sure, okay, use the uncertainly expressions. Now, I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group, but if you want, you can also take a screenshot, please. So you can have the questions. And remember, try to give details. I want to everybody speak, okay? Speak, give details, and later I will ask you, okay? Did you take the screen? No. Yes, teacher. Yes? Take it. I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp group, but just in case that you cannot download them, so you can take the screenshot too. Remember, I don't want to listen to Spanish. Try to organize your ideas. Try, guys. I'm not asking for perfection, but the more you try in the end, it will be easier, all right? I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group. Let me just create the teams so you can go and practice. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I already sent the questions on WhatsApp's group if you want to read them. And we are going to be in group of three, so I want to everybody participate. If you are in a group that nobody's talking, let me know so I can switch you, okay? Let's go to work, everybody. Zero Spanish, please. Lise. Oh. Hey, Nelson. How's it going? Mm, I'm tired now, right now. Twice. I want to, I want to go poor. my bed. Yeah. Yes, as well, I need to go my bed. Today, today, uh, it was, uh, I, uh, I have, yeah, a bad day, yeah. Okay, I might. Mm, yeah, but okay. uh, I sh you take uh, the uh, you screenshot uh, the, to the picture. You? Mm, no. <laughs> and on WhatsApp? Yes, I send it on WhatsApp. You can check it there. Okay. Can you share your screen, Nelson? Mm, Please. I, I don't have WhatsApp in the, my computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not necessary to share. You can read the questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. No worries. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Number one, which is harder, math or English? Uh, for me, English because. Uh, I I have to to learn a lot of vocabulary 
and organize the time, organize the sentences. Uh, for me, it's a, English has a lot of work during the process about the learn, learning, about the learning for me. Okay. And also it has uh, a lot of time because if, if I don't study English, uh, um, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to learn. So that's why it's, 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 a, it's difficult for me. Okay, for me, uh, I agree. I agree with you. Uh, English is uh, um, harder than math uh, because math is um, more mechanic, yes. and English is uh, more practice, uh, more speaking, uh, yes. uh, more writing. Uh, and you, 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 also you, you have to listen a lot, uh, yes, different, yes. different words, uh, songs, sentences, and, and other yeah, and others, yeah, and other scenarios. It's my opinion. Yes. Cosman? Uh, mm, for me, much and subject and English. <laughs> the okay. two, two is a is a complicated on the different form and the you and the for the use. Um much is a exactly is a process. In English is a a practice. Uh, grammar, destiny, pronunciation, is e similar a um, match is the practice because the uh, uh, the learning for me, right? Yes, you're right. <clears throat> it's valid. Different opinion. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nelson, the next question. Okay. Does technology make on the right letters and send it and the time uh, pass uh, pass a long time. So now we we had a a, 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 a communication so better, but uh, words. But again, so in, in words, I think it's worse because the technology makes a uh, uh, contaminate. I don't know how to say contaminar the world because uh, all this all all these products are uh, uh, are desechables. So. Uh, I don't know, but uh, uh, I have. I I think the technology makes the world uh, better and worse in in, in different ways. Uh, it depends the way you can see it. What are you? What about you, Albert? Carlos Alberto. <laughs> For me, the technology made the world better because it's, uh, uh, for example, it's in, in the work, in the family, uh, the technology is very easy in different area. Uh, for example, uh, the cell phone, uh, Communicate the video llamada, video 
videos, call, call videos, and, and different, and different, let me see. Yeah. Only that, I, I do not remember uh, the, the word. Only that. Okay. Uh, question number three. What's the most delicious food have uh, you ever you have tried? Sorry. Yes. So in my case. Mm, I think the paella, do you know it? It's a delicious food because uh, the flavor raised and shrimp, shrimp, and I like it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have tried uh, Japan, no, Korean, Korean food. I don't remember the name of the food, but it was good. But it's the way that you use the technology. If you use it for, for things that are not useful to you, it's like, and empty is yeah, empty really, but if you use it for for something good to learn to improve um, your skills to to get better, well, you you are you are you are improving in in learning by the technology, yes. but if it's not. <laughs> Okay. And um, what, do you, what do you think, Jose? Technology is neutral. Okay. We we can for uh, algo bueno. For something good. Something <laughs> Use good. it for something good. Or oh, or we can use for Let's see. It depends how depending on thought. Yeah. Depend on us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, like just like like we we said uh, with Osman, technology by itself is not bad or or, or good. It's how you use it. <laughs> okay. I I we think we agree in that point okay number four can you read three number three do, do you want do you want to read nelson number four salvador uh, what's the most delicious food you have tried what is the meaning of this question? What is the most, what is the, the food that you have tried and you like it a lot? In my case, I don't know. <laughs> I like a lot of food. <laughs> I love food, <laughs> but really? I don't know the most delicious food. I don't know, maybe, maybe pasta. I love pasta, like um, Alfredo Alfredo pasta. I like it with 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 shrimps. Maybe that's the most delicious food I have ever tried. What about you? Well, uh, I, I had a, a lot of 
kind of food. <laughs> I like, I like it. I like some more the food. Uh, I like some more the the fruit, fruit. <laughs> I, am happy, I am happy eating eating, fru eating fruit. I am very happy. Mm -hmm. uh, I like, I like to also I like beef. Oh, okay. Beef too. And uh, two months ago, I try. I ate. Uh, mm -hmm. the, it's a soup. It's a soup. Uh, it's uh -huh. soup it, it's, get a uh, seafood. It's a soup. What do you say? Maybe like, like a marisca. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. don't know how how do you say that in English, but that's... mariscal. I, I think it's Salvador. It, it, it's it's name of El Salvador. It's typical I name. Yes, but the mariscal is delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. Yes. I recommend yes. you. It's very delicious. Yes. I, like I love it. seafood. <laughs> yes, me too. Me too. Yes. What about you, Salvador? I remember. that I I was a restaurant in San Miguel called mm -hmm. El Asador. Mm -hmm. And they pre pre prepare mm -hmm. a beef very delicious. I'm... You are from San Miguel, Jose? Mm, yes. Yes. Do you live uh, in San Miguel? Miguel or, or, in San Miguel. In ah, okay. San Miguel. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Where, where, are, uh, where, where do you live, Pamela? I live here in San Salvador. Mm. In San Jacinto. And you, Osman? Congo. In Congo City. Uh, Santa Ana, right? Near Santa Ana. Near Santa Ana. Uh -huh, okay. Okay. My city is uh, five mi uh, three minutes, three minutes from Coatepeque Lake. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, that's great. Interesting. <laughs> Coatepeque yeah. is it's very beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes. Coatepeque. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the next question. I don't know. Maybe you need uh, little details for your job. <laughs> little? You need more details? I understand. I don't understand. The you word. can say careful. Ah, like okay. you have to be careful because you ah. have to pay attention in the little details. So careful. Ah, okay. Careful. Yes. Yeah. Yes, um, very, very careful with my Teacher, how do you say distraída or distraerse? Okay, if you want the verb, you can say distract. That is distraer or distraerse, right? Distract. But if you want the adjective like distraído, so it's basically just district. Right. right or actually there is another one mm, let me remember distracted sound much better right. or absent-minded uh, i'm sending in the uh -huh. chat no worries uh, some people use Very more good. this one sure. absent-minded but that is the adjective the verb is just distract, distract. Mm -hmm. and what does it mean in english Eh, minucioso. Hmm, minucioso. Mm -hmm. Okay, I okay, will say. Lista. Okay, I will say detailed. detailed. Like like this one. Um, let me write it in the chat. Okay. Detailed, detailed with ed at the end. Detailed. detailed. So that is a person that be careful with all of the details. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, did you finish all the questions? Yes. Yes. yes did you speak in Spanish? 
No, no teacher. Never, no. right? Never. No, never. <laughs> okay, I hope so. Okay, let's go back to the main room, all right? Okay. Very okay. good. That's Okay, let's wait for your classmates. They are still in the breakup rooms. Let's go back everyone. Let's see, we are going to wait for them. They are still in the breakup rooms. So easy or difficult, the questions, what do you think? Uh-huh. So, so maybe. Okay. 50-50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, did your classmate give details? Yeah, in, in some more details. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I think that there were questions a little bit easier than others, right? Very good. Okay, just wait for your classmate. They will join us soon. Let's go back, everyone. Very good. Could you answer all the questions? No? No, teacher. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, you were talking a lot. Uh -huh. this, this exercise was very nice. <laughs> ah, very good. Yeah, with my climate, classmate, very nice. Ah, okay, did your classmate give a lot of details? <laughs> A lot of. A lot. Uh -huh, very talkative. <laughs> I like yeah. that. But in English, right? Only English, nothing Spanish. Uh, excellent. Sure. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, okay. I like that. that no, my classmates, uh, I think my classmates are bilingual. <laughs> oh, sounds great. And look, guys, that's the idea. Remember that uh, we need to take time in the class to talk. That's what I want. I want you to talk. If you see, when I enter to the breakup rooms, I don't talk, right? I don't want to correct you in that moment because it, this, when you are in the breakup rooms, guy, I want you to feel free <laughs> to talk. Okay, yes. so that's what I want you. That's why I don't interrupt, okay? And I want you to talk and talk. And that's what you are doing and you are doing excellent. Now, when I'm in the breaking rooms, what I do is just to take note, okay? And let's see some little details that we need to consider. For example, I was listening some words in Spanish for example, this one. Hmm. How can I say that word in English? Is disposable. Okay. Disposable. That's a word referring to this one. Okay. How could I say mm, vaso desechables? What do you think? Gla glass disposable or disposable mm. glass could be but remember that glass if it is like it sees the video right oh okay so we can easily just say disposable cup maybe like this right or even disposable glass but remember that that is something that you are going to use only once then if I'm talking about technology, technology is third person, yes or no? What do you think? Yes, is it? Ah, so can I say technology make? Makes. With ah, yes. we had to say technology makes because it's third person. Now, I was listening to a very interesting word. La mariscada, hmm, do you like it? Yes, yes, yes. But how can yeah. we say that? Look, <laughs> shellfish <laughs> stew, look. Shellfish stew, uh, I, am, <laughs> I, am, I am hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, do you like it everyone? Yes? Yes, yes. no. Delicious, delicious. That was my <laughs> lunch today. <laughs> Congratulations, but you didn't share. Mm -mm. Okay, I heard someone who says no. 
Yes, you don't like it? No? For me, a lot. Okay. So in this case, guys, that is the way that we can call it, right? Uh, shellfish stew. And um, remember that there are some proper names, specifically when we are talking about a typical food that not always they will have a translation. For example, if I say tamales, I mean, they don't have translation. It will be tamales. Um, if you say enchiladas, I mean, it will be enchiladas. There are some typical food that we won't be able to translate because of the names. Now, let me interview you. Let me start with the ones with the camera off, of course. Bodies, you have the camera off, bodies, what happened? Bodies, you there? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I am uh, the the talking. My 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 wife is is a uh, for for the daughter. Ah, okay, okay. Continue. No worries. No worries. I will ask you later. <laughs> okay, I will ask to Kevin because I saw Kevin that you just turned it on. Kevin, tell me, um, is more productive to work from home or in an office? What do you think? Mm, I my work is uh, middle in office, middle in home office. Uh huh. But I prefer to go to the office because in my house is so warm. Ah, Kevin. okay. Hot. And uh, hot. And and I don't like the the weather hot. The oh, hot weather. the hot weather. Okay. I I prefer uh, go to the office because I can go to the planta of production. Okay. And I can see the machines and other things, quality about the product. I prefer to go to the office <laughs> perfect all right kevin pick one of your classmates please and uh, someone with h the name <laughs> someone with an age uh, uh, carlos ernesto hernandez ah. <laughs> all right hello carlos Okay. Hello, I'm sorry, traveling the micro. All right. So, Carlos, tell me, um, what's the most beautiful place you have been to or the most beautiful place that you visited? Here, uh, I command the classmate. Here, yeah. I love it, El Vital. Mm, okay. Yeah. In to uh, Montreal in Canada. All right, very good. Why? Why do you like it? El uh, Pital because uh, I love it. Uh, I like the food. Uh, cold, cold. <clears throat> the I cold weather. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cold weather. Uh, in the Montreal, uh, I, it's, a, it's a style of Europe. Europe. Oh, okay. Sounds uh -huh. good. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Carlos. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, I'm sorry, Wilbur. <laughs> 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 okay, Wilbert, tell us, does technology make the world better or worse? Uh, I think uh, technology makes the world better and, and worse. Both uh, one uh, better makes makes better because uh, we have a, a better communication between us. Uh, it makes it uh, so fast. Mm. Make so easier uh, the, the business 
our life in our houses. But uh, again, uh, it makes a uh, this, uh, this this possible. Mm -hmm. It makes this possible. The, the product makes it possible because uh, people uh, throughout the, the, the product, uh, the, the, the computer when, when they don't need it. Oh, so, yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, contaminar, I don't know how to say. Contaminate? So, uh -huh. so we self contaminate the, the world. So have a, a good point and the bad point. Ah, uh, very good. So positive and negative aspects. Yes. That's good. Excellent. So you see, guys, you are talking and you are not saying Spanish. That's the attitude. Uh, let the last one. Pick one of your classmates. Wilbur, please. I choose Atilio. All right. Atilio Excellent. Hello, I Husman. See, I see you switch up. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yes. that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, Husman, tell us um, which is more enjoyable: watching a movie at home or at the cinema? Um, I prefer to uh, go to the cinema uh, because it's a uh, concentration in the field. Um, relaxing what moment and comfort here with the friends or family. And in case I'm in house, uh, more distract, distraction. I know, I know view the movie for different, different questions. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and in the cinema, you have the popcorn, the air conditioner. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> And so, <laughs> all right, very good. Now, the excellent last, job. Uh huh. The last field, uh, view the performer. Oof, it's very oh, <laughs> did you watch that movie, guys? What I movie? To go. Transformer, the last one. I, I don't know. My don't. cell phone. Okay, was it good? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Good movie. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> how about the Fast and Furious movie? Did you watch it? <laughs> I think yes. that's we are uh, disappointed. Disappointed now. <laughs> too many movies about Fast and Furious, don't you think? I think that yeah, too many. I mean, go yeah. on. All right. Now, if you pay attention in the questions that we were practicing guys look at the structure of the questions in these questions we have some of them with comparative some of them are with superlatives okay so we were talking and while we were talking we were comparing and that is basically what we are going to check right now we are going to use comparative adjectives so if i want to compare is because i have two objects and i'm comparing the objects okay so do you remember comparative and superlative structure yes a little bit or not? Okay. Yes, yes, you remember? Yes, teacher. Yes. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. Let's do a review. Okay. Remember that if you want to compare, first you need to identify the kind of adjective that we have. We have adjectives with only one syllable. That means short adjective. For example, if I say clear, do you think that this adjective is short or long? Short. It's very mm -hmm. short. Imagine dark, short or long? Short. 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 So in this case, if I want to compare, what do I need to do? 
If the adjective is short, I need to add E R. Oh. For example, clear. What is the comparative form? I will say clearer. clearer. If I have dark, what is the comparative? Darker. Darker. If I say big, what is the super uh, the comparative? Bigger. Bigger. If I have hot, bigger. Harder. Harder. If I say fast. Faster. 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 Cold. Colder. Colder. All right. So which one is colder? El Pital or San Miguel? The Pital, Pital is El colder Pital. than San Miguel. Cold. Exactly. El Pital is colder than San Miguel. San Miguel. Which one is bigger? Canada or El Salvador? Canada. Canada is Canada. bigger than El Salvador. Exactly. So if you see, we are comparing. Okay. Now, the other way is the superlative. In the superlative, we are not comparing. We are just saying which object is the top and again if the adjective is short we are going to add e -S -T. E -S -T. for example hot what is the superlative of hot hottest hottest, hottest. okay hottest. when we use superlative don't forget we need to say the the hottest the hottest what do you the think hottest. is the hottest department in el salvador san miguel okay some people say san miguel right and we say okay san miguel is the hottest uh, department, department of el salvador very good. Look. So we are comparing here, yes or no? Are we comparing? No. 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 If you see, I don't have two options. I'm just talking about San Miguel. That is the superlative. Okay. The same is, for example, what is the biggest? country in Central America. What do you think? Guatemala is the biggest, no, Guatemala is the biggest country in Central America. Mm, okay. What do you think, guys? Is that true? <laughs> All right, we don't know geography exactly, but that is an example. So we can say, ah, Guatemala is the biggest. Are we comparing? No, no. that is only the superlative. Is it clear? Yes. Everybody? Teacher, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, it's the same. We, we can we can say uh, Guatemala is bigger is bigger than El Salvador. Than El Salvador. Correct, yes, exactly. Yes. So okay. remember, if you have two things and you are comparing them, you use er. If you are not comparing, if it is just superlative, you use est. Okay. Questions. Or is it clear? Uh, um, I, I say that, uh, for example, uh, uh, Guatemala is more big. Ah, than El Salvador. 
Okay, let me write that sentence. What happens, guys, if I say, Guatemala is more big, more big than, than El Salvador. El Salvador? So, everybody, can I say this? Yes or no? No. no. Why not? No. Because it's a shorter adjective. Adjective. And this is something that you have to keep in mind. I'm going to use the word more only with the long adjectives, okay? If the adjective is short, like in the case of big, I cannot use more. In the case if the adjective is short, I'm going to add ER. In this case, instead of saying more big, I will say bigger. Guatemala is bigger than El Salvador. Okay? We have to be very careful with that. For example, and, and here we got the answer. Look, if the adjective is long, we use more. For example, creative. What do you think? Is that short or long? Long. Long. It's long. So can I say creative? -er? Do I need to add ER at the end? Creative? -er? No. 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 What are we going to do? We are going to use more. More. More, more. creative. Another example. Popular. Popular is short or long? Long. long. So oh. we are going to say more popular. Popular. Which one is more popular? San Salvador or La Unión? San Salvador, San Salvador is, is more popular, more popular than, than La Unión. Ah, very good. San Salvador is more popular than La Unión. How about expensive? What do you think? Expensive is short or long? Long. 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 Okay. Which one is more expensive? iPhone or Android? <laughs> Uh -huh. iPhone. iPhone. iPhone is more expensive, expensive. Android. Than, than, and, than, than Android. Android. That's the one. So you see, we are comparing. Now, if I want to say the superlative, I'm not going to add more. I'm going to add must. But don't forget that we always need to add the article the, okay? For example, the, the most creative, the most popular, the most expensive, the most beautiful, okay? The most delicious. In this case, for example, what is the most delicious food? What do you think? What is the most delicious food? The most the delicious food. Seafood. Uh -huh. Okay, seafood. What else? Any other option? Chinese food. Chinese food. Okay, so you can say. Chinese food is the most delicious food. So if it is short, we add ER. If it is long, look, we need to add more or must. Understood? Everybody, is it clear? Oh, teacher, I'm not sure when I use more. I don't know if uh, when uh, the word had two, two syllables. Count the syllables. For example, let's go back to the previous slides. 
In this case, guys, in English, we count the syllables because of the vowel sound. If I say dark, ¿cuántos sonidos de vocal escuchan dark. cuando yo digo dark? One. Dark. ¿Cuántas dark. vocales suenan? One. one. Only two. one. Por eso okay. se dice que tiene solo una sílaba. Ah, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. okay In the teacher. case of three or more syllables, Thank veamos yes. cuántas vocales escuchamos. Creative. ¿Cuántas escucharon? Creative. Creative. Three. Exactly. So that's why we can have three or more. Three or more syllables. In this case, popular. ¿Cuántas vocales escuchan en popular? Popular. Ajá. Exactly. So, así es como contamos las sílabas in English. So, si tienen tres o más, ahí es donde le vamos a agregar more si es comparative or must if it is superlative. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Excellent. Now, with these adjectives, guys, remember that we have some exceptions. And remember that we have something named the irregular adjectives. They are named irregulars because they don't follow the rules. In the case of good, for example, can I say gooder in the comparative form? No. No, we have to say better. Better. For example, I can say um, Real Madrid is better than no. El Barcelona. Always. Yes. No, no. Ah. <gasps> yes, you mm. no. always. But it is the worst of the, the, Bar the Barcelona is better. <laughs> the worst idea. <laughs> ah, no. ahorita. Absolutely. Ah, no. voy a empezar. Oh, yo, yo sorry, creo I'm que sorry. Voy a empezar a bajar puntos a los del Barça. Ok. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Do it, teacher, do it. <laughs> Great. All right, look at this. Mm, what do you think? Which one is better? Coffee or Coca-Cola? Coffee. Coffee? No one. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Water. Ah, okay, I'm, I like that. I'm not 100%. Sure. <laughs> I like it that you are using the phrases. Um, which one is better, Pollo Campero or Don Pollo? Pollo Campero. <laughs> so, <Para los> gringo. <laughs> <laughs> look, we are using better. We cannot say gooder. That's why it's irregular. If you see, they change totally. And in the superlative form, what is the superlative of good? Can I say the goodest? The best. Yeah, no. the best. Ah, the best. we say the best. best. The, so they change totally. Another example is the most common one is bad. What is the comparative of the adjective bad? Worse. 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 Okay, and the superlative? Worst. 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 Okay, so imagine if I ask you guys, which one is worse? Hot or cold? Hot. Is Hot uh, is worse than uh, cold. Cold. <laughs> All right, it's very good. Hot, worse hot than cold. <laughs> so do you prefer cold or hot? I prefer, I prefer, cold. I prefer cold. Cold. I prefer cold. <laughs> cold. Ah, so you see, we say hot is worse than hot. So they change. That's why they are irregulars. Okay? So everybody, this is just a review. I know that this is a topic that maybe we already studied. So it's just a refresh. Okay. Is it clear the way that we are going to compare and we are going to use superlative? Yes. Yes? yes? Are you sure? Sure. Okay. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's have a practice. I have these two people over here. Can you compare them? This is Captain America 
And this other with glasses Tony, is Tony Stark. Uh huh. Iron. Or Iron Man. Team Compare Iron them. Man. <laughs> Iron Man is better actor than uh, in Iron Man. Yes. Ah, uh, look. Captain America. Captain Very America. good. Uh, so look at the money. sentence. <laughs> Look, he said Iron Man is better than a Captain, Captain America. America. Okay. If you see, we are using better. Perfect sentence. Okay, I want to use the uh, the adjective tall. What will be the sentence? Uh, America, 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 So we can say, right? Captain America is, in can I say, taller. more tall? No. no. Why not? Taller. Because it's one taller. Exactly. It's short. short. So short. we have to say is taller than. Oops. Tony Stark. Iron, Iron Man. Or, Iron Man. Or Tony Stark. Okay, I want to use the article or uh, the adjective old. Hmm. Oldest. Iron Man is older. older. Ah. So, can I say more old? No. Older? No, we say older. 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 Okay. Um, I want to use <laughs> girls. Help me with this one. Handsome. Uh -huh. Come on, girls. <laughs> Iron Man. Captain <laughs> America. Captain America is more handsome ah, than Iron Man. That's great. Can I say? Handsomer? No. no In no. this case, we are going to say only more women. <laughs> handsome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now look at this one because it's long. Yeah. So this is the way that we can compare. Is that clear? Yes? Clear. It's clear. Very clear. Easy or difficult? <laughs> Team Iron Man or Team Captain America? Iron Man. Team Iron Man. Oh my Absolutely. goodness. Absolutely. I'm going to discount points again. We are Team Captain. Okay? Team no. Captain America. Never. Yes. Never. This one, oh, Nil. No. No. <laughs> the, 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 war, the, the, the war cry for the deep the Iron Man. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Me, yeah, for example. Because Iron Man yeah. sacrificed <laughs> his life. Ah, because he wanted, I mean. <laughs> Iron Man is Marvel. How do ah. you say? How do you say? You say. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, Elias, what do you say? How do you say? No vencerán juntos. <laughs> <laughs> they they will... defeat. Oh? Uh? They defeat no together. Together. Oh, you my. See? Ah. Okay. So guys, let's have a practice comparing. Okay, let's stop talking about they. Let's talk about some other superheroes. I had Batman versus Superman. And I will be asking some sentences to some of you. So tell me everyone, Batman or Team Superman. Compare them, please. Um, Batman and uh, Superman are better than Captain America and Iron Man. Ah, no, Elias. No, point, point no, less no. for Elias. Go out, Elias. Go out, Elias. Go out here, please. Teacher, please get out, Elias. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't because it's his birthday. It's because it's his birthday. Oh, really, really. Yeah. Like a rest, Elias. Only that. <laughs> all right, all right. But let's compare Batman versus Superman. What do you think? Superman. <sighs> But compare them. Superman is more strongest? No, ah. more. No. Okay, Beate, I, I like that adjective. Okay, strong. What do you think? Strong. More strong stronger. 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 
Excellent. Or, stronger. So Superman is stronger than Batman. 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 Okay. What else? Another adjective? Batman is more intelligent than yeah, Superman. Yes. Ah, yes. Always. More always. Always. Intelligent. More intelligent. intelligent or more yes. smart? Actually, guys, Wise. those those are synonyms, intelligent yeah. and smart. But imagine that I want to use the adjective smart. Can I say more smart? Smart. Oh. Ah, smarter. smarter. So Batman is smarter than Superman. Superman. Always. <laughs> I want <laughs> to far. use I want to use the article uh, the the adjective rich. Money. <laughs> Richard. Oh, Batman, is, Richard. Is, Batman is richer uh, than Superman. Ah, okay. Batman is the richest. Ah, now we can use superlative too. I can yeah. say Batman is the richest, the richest. superhero, <laughs> right? I think that he's the one who has more money. Now, what about fast? Uh, Superman, mm -hmm. Superman, Superman, faster, faster, faster than, than Batman. Than Batman. Excellent Batman. job. So we are comparing. Taller. Which one? Superman is taller. Uh huh. Then, than, then, then the then Batman. Very good. Excellent. So, um, I have another options right here. Um, I need a volunteer. Uh, girl, give me a girl. name. Okay, girls. girls. Girls, girls, give me a number. Uh, Mujer Maravilla. Uh huh. Uh, Gatubela. <laughs> Gatubela. Come number on. Three. 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 <laughs> okay, guys, look. I have a pie versus a cake. Okay. Compare them. The chocolate cake okay. is uh -huh. better than a pie of strawberry. All right. So look, she used better. Excellent. The, what the else? K, the K more beautiful. Okay. Um, the cake is? Is the K is more beautiful uh -huh. than pie. Okay, sounds pie. good. I'm not sure about that because they the both pie eat. is more delicious. <laughs> ah, okay. The cake is more expensive than pie. Okay. What else? What else? The chocolate cake is sweeter than pie. All right, pretty good. So you see, guys, you are comparing. Now, sure. you just have to identify the short and long adjectives. Yes, tell me. It's correct to say the K is more popular between sweet bread. Yes, of course. But in this case, Listen to that sentence, because if I say the cake is more popular in the sweet bread, are we comparing or is that superlative? What do you think? It could be superlative because you are talking about the, uh, the cake. Exactly. In that case, guys, it's better a superlative, I can say the cake is it's the most the most popular in which category? In the category of sweet bread. I'm not comparing. I'm just saying that this one is on the top. Got it? Is it clear, everybody? Yes? Clear. Yes. Yeah. Clear. Easy okay. or difficult to compare? Easy. 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 Ah, ready for the exam? Easy. Yeah, come on. Yes, I'm certain. <laughs> okay, That's somebody it. called me. 
<laughs> so happy birthday Elias. You, you. Congratulations, Elias. Congratulations. It's your turn. Let's let's surprise him with a beautiful Only watch the, 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 the cake. Pie and cake. Only watch. No eat, no eat. <laughs> Only watch. <laughs> Ay, my goodness, my goodness. Okay, everyone, uh, let's have a quick practice and then we are going to see another way to compare. I'm going to give you a sentence, each one, and you have to decide if it is comparative or superlative, okay? Um, the first sentence will be for Boris, okay? The next one is for Ana. Then we have Carlos, eh, Carlos Alberto, okay? Um, then we have Carlos Ernesto. The next one will be for Edwin and Elias. Okay, guys, let me know when you're ready. Complete the sentence, please. Decide if you are going to use comparative or superlative. When you're ready, tell yes, me the teacher. answer. Okay? This is uh, the most difficult test we have ever taken. Ah, the most difficult. Look at this, guys. In this case, she is using superlative. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. If you see, ah. we are not comparing. We are just saying that this test is the top, the most difficult. Pretty good job. Thank you, Anna. Who's uh, next? Yes. Chris, yes. Chris mm -hmm. is shorter than his brother. Okay, everybody, is that correct? Yes, teacher. Totally, Compare. we are comparing. We are comparing Chris and his brother. brother. It's a short okay. adjective, so we need to add ER. Nice job. Who's next? Me, teacher. Okay, that go ahead. is the most beautiful painting in the museum. Okay, the most beautiful painting. Everybody, is that correct? Yes. Totally, we are not comparing. This is superlative. Okay, Carlos, Edwin? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. I am more athletic than Peter. Okay, everybody, what do you think? More athletic? Yeah. Yes, yes. Perfect. you see? Yes. It's a it's, long adjective, a long and we are comparing <laughs> I and Peter. Peter. Excellent. Who's next? Carlos? Me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. okay, my mother is the smarter person, smartest person ah, I know. The smartest. If you see superlative, and we need to add EST. Excellent. Uh, Carlos? Alberto? Is Carlos there? Yes, no? Okay, um, so Eulise, help him, please. Number six, teacher. Uh, number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. Lely is. Is the more is most happy, happier? No, is happier now than she was the other day. Ah, very good. Now look at this one, guys. We are comparing the key word is then. If you see the word then, is because you are comparing. Okay, pretty good job. Pretty good job. Let's continue. Um, uh, the next sentence will be for Jose Salvador. Okay. The next one will be for Hosman. Uh, um, the next one will be for Kevin, Nelson, Osman, Pamela. Okay. So everybody, all of you will have sentences. No worries. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Go ahead. The word today is worse than it was yesterday. 
Ah, very good. If you see, guys, we had bad. Bad is an irregular adjective. Very good. Who's next? The dress is more expensive than that one. All right. More expensive. Nice job. Excellent. Who's next? Me, teacher. Yes. Charlotte is the kindest person in our group. All right. Look, we are not comparing. That is superlative. Very good. Uh -huh. Me. Yes. Their house is bigger than mine. Okay. Comparative. Very good job. Uh huh. Osman or Osman? Me, teacher. Go ahead. My English is more fluent than hers. All right. Excellent. Aha, uh -huh. Osman. Osman, are you there? Sorry, teacher, problem communication. Um, Amy's cat is good. Is comparative or superlative? Super. Superlative. Okay, yeah. so? Is, um, cutest. Only that? Is cutest animal? Yeah. That. Mm. Be curious. Is missing that. something. What is it? That. Yes, don't forget when is superlative, we need the article that always, always and forever. So Amy's cat is the cutest animal I ever seen. Pretty good job. Okay, the last ones I have Rafael and Wilbur, of course. Okay, guys, when you're ready. Ryan is more popular student in my classes. More popular. He is the more the most popular. He's the most ah, popular. the most popular. Perfect is superlative. Very good. Aha, Rafael. His car is faster than mine. Faster than mine. Perfect. Excellent job, everybody. If you see, this is the way that we can compare or say sentence in superlative. Is that clear? Yes? Yes. Clear. Good. Did you pass the exam? What do you think? Yes. yes. Are you I'm sure? absolutely sure. Sure. Uh -huh. Look, all your answers were correct. Perfect. Ah, nice. The last. Oh, we didn't answer the last one. <laughs> but this in this is case, the best. best ah, in my the town. best. This is better. Better best. or the best? Best, best, the best. The best. I'm sorry. Exactly. The best restaurant. Very good job. Excellent, guys. So, this is the way that we can compare. Okay. So, now you have all the answers correct. <laughs> Pretty good job. So, any. Teacher. Sorry, and the, the question, and the, um, the, the comparative is a, uh, uh, yo sé, uh, puedo poner, perdón, I, I put the, the ear, mm -hmm. uh, when is a uh, down, uh, Okay, you if, can. If, if, uh -huh. if, if, if I don't see that is a is a superlative. Yes, exactly. Uh, the, 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 and in the the long adjective is a. Uh, I More? know I know the 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 the. Oh, perdón. Cómo saber. Cuando usar most y cuando more. Ah, la regla es la misma. 
Listen, guys. Si ustedes ven que dice la palabra den, ah, entonces es comparative. comparative. Ahora, ¿cómo sé si voy a usar more o er? Fíjense en el adjetivo. Yeah. Si el adjetivo es corto, voy a usar er. Look at the another example. En este caso dice den. ¿Es comparative? ¿Sí o no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, vean el adjective. Expensive. ¿Voy a agregarle more? ¿Sí o no? Yes. 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 Entonces, si dice then, es comparative. Uh, then, Ahora okay. solo tenemos que fijarnos en el adjective. The, 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 si va a necesitar the, the, the ER. Or, 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 exactly. Or Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Exactly. Okay, okay. The most Pretty. is a uh, is, is not con el, con el most is in, in the superlative. En este caso, si yes, se fijan, yes, yes. aquí no dice la palabra then, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So no estoy comparing. Aquí ustedes van a decidir. Ah, el adjective is beautiful. Voy a agregarle est o le voy a agregar la palabra must. Must, okay. Must. Mm -hmm. Teacher. That's the okay. way. Thank you, teacher. teacher You're question. welcome. Yes, go ahead. Este, uh, what, what is the correct pronunciation? Then or then? Then. Then. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Then. Very okay. good. Okay, everybody. Let's good job. You are doing great. Now, we are going to continue with this picture. <laughs> Can you see the difference? It equals. <laughs> They are a they, it's a mirror. <laughs> Actually, guys, it's not a mirror. The we parts. have six people here. No teacher. Yes. Look. Left, left and right is the same people. They are twins. Really? I mean, the two girls, two. they are twins. Mm. They got married with children. the boys and they no. are twins too. And they had babies at the same time. So no. the babies no. look very similar. I'm not kidding. No, Pants. believe me. You Come can on. look at the look at the clothes. I mean, it's different. Believe me, this appears on the news, okay? Look at the babies, they have different clothes too. Um, what Some happens- another picture. No way. Los retos que lo busquen en internet. Believe me, the girls are twins and they got married with two boys that they are twins too. The idea of sharing this picture, guys, is, ¿qué pasa si yo quiero comparar dos cosas que son iguales? En los ejemplos anteriores estábamos comparando, pero una de las opciones era superior a la otra, right? For example, ah, Superman is stronger than Batman. ¿Los estoy comparando? Yes, pero estoy diciendo que uno es superior al otro. What happens if I want to compare of equality? For example, in this case, this woman is exactly the same as the other woman. No puedo decir que una is more beautiful because they are exactly the same. No puedo decir that he is taller than the other one because they are exactly the same. Um, I cannot say that the baby is smaller than the other one because they are the same. So, ¿cómo comparo dos cosas que son iguales? That is exactly what we are going to learn right now. Okay? So, pay attention, everybody. Um, we are going to see some examples in this conversation. Uh, volunteers for reading, please. Me. Me. Okay, Me. thank you. Uh, Nelson N. Boris. Boris, thank you. Okay, Nelson, you are Juan. Boris, you are Saul. Guys, this conversation is on your manual and the page 14. Uh, let me open up the manual so you can see it a little bit bigger. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interest, interest interested in purchasing. 
or product from retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably, probably, we need to to switch. Is which switch, switch to switch to switch to wall wall seller who can provide you provide us with extra strong storage cap, storage cap, capacity i agree let's look for a distribution option that allows allows us to get our products in a strategic place places on time the current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible what sellers. Poor sellers. Poor sellers. Very good. If you see, thank you guys. We are using comparatives in this reading. Look are not as interested as before. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Are not as interested as before. No está mm -hmm. interesados como antes. Very good. No están tan interesados como antes. So I'm comparing. If I say is not as strategic, uh, strategic as I thought, what is that? ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? It's not as strategic, I'm sorry, as I thought. Maybe no es una estrategia como lo habíamos pensado. O como ah, se había pensado. Yes. No es tan estratégico como yo pensé, right? Como habíamos pensado. That is the structure that we are going to use. Keep in mind this, as, as. So if I want to explain, guys, if I want to compare two things that are the same, this is the structure that we need to follow. I need to add the word as, then the adjective, and then the word as again, okay? This structure is to make comparison when the two options are equal, all right? Look at the picture. I have Dave and I have Dan. Hmm, can you see the difference? Or are they the same? What do you think? Can you see Dave differences? Dave has a red hair and Dan uh, has a brown hair. Ah, okay, the color is different. But imagine if I want to say tall. What do you think? Dan is taller than it's Dave? Similar. No, ah. basically they are say, equal. Exactly, they are exactly the same. So, no puedo decir taller, porque si yo digo taller, significa que uno es más alto que otro, right? Yo quiero decir que David es igual de alto que Dan. How can I say that? Easy. Look, David is as tall as Dan. Dan. Mm -hmm. Pay attention in the adjective. Necesito agregarle cambios al adjective. Yes or no? No. no? no. No. The adjective is exactly the same. Aquí, guys, no le vamos a estar agregando ER, no le vamos a estar agregando more, no. It's only as, the adjective, and then as again. Now, look at this. We are going to say David is as oh. old oh. as... Dan. Dan. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? David es... Tan viejo como Dan. Tan viejo That's como it. Dan. Exactly. That means that they are exactly the same. ¿Se entiende? This structure, everyone? 
Yes. 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 Okay, let's have. A... Oops, oops, oops. Uh, in your manuals, you will find uh, more examples. <laughs> the examples that appear in the manual are a little bit more complicated, but we have to read them. Imagine in this case, we can use this structure in affirmative, but also in negative. If I want to say it in affirmative, look at this one. Getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. So in affirmative, easy. I just need as, the adjective, and then as again. What happens if I want to say it in negative? We are going to add the word not. For example, my distributors are not as fast as the ones you're partnered with. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Are not as fast as. Los distribuidores no son tan rápidos, no son tan rápidos como, como los, como los que, compañeros. Exactly, right? No son tan rápidos. In this case, let's think in El Salvador, okay? Let's think about the departments. There are some departments that they are like almost the same. And there are departments that are totally different. For example, um, let's compare uh, Santa Ana, right? Santa Ana is as popular as, can you tell me another department that is the same popular as Santa Ana? San Salvador. Okay. No, no San Sonate. All right, San Salvador, come on, they are almost the same. <laughs> so, look, ¿qué estoy diciendo aquí? ¿Estoy diciendo que Santa Ana es más popular or not? No, 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 no. popular ah, igual. Ana es they igual. Are, popular ex, como San Salvador. Exactly, I'm saying that they are the same. Ni uno es más ni el otro. They are equal. Santa Ana es igual de popular que San, San Salvador. Salvador. I can say the sentence in negative. ¿Qué pasa si quiero decir que Santa Ana no es tan popular como San Salvador? How can I say that? Is not. Very good. Santa we Ana just need not. to add not. Simple. Santa Ana is not as popular as San Salvador. Understood, everybody? Yes? ¿Se entiende yes. la affirmative and the negative form? Yes. yes. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue. We are going to have some exercises, but before that, I'm going to check attendance again. So everybody, when you listen to your names, you know what to do. Um, Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Excellent. Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto? Carlos Alberto? All right. Carlos Ernesto? Present. Excellent. Eh, Edwin Antonio? Present teacher. All right. Elias Neftali? Present teacher. Very good. Eulise Torres? Eulise? Okay. Eh, Jose Miguel? Jose Salvador? I'm here, teacher. Very good. Eh, Josman Atilio? Present, teacher. Very good. Kevin Alfredo? Present. All right. Nelson Alberto? Here. All right. Osman Enrique? Present. Very good. Pamela Carolina? Present teacher. All right. Rafael Alexander? Here teacher. All right. Uh, Santiago Roberto? 
And Wilber Alberto. Present. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Let's have a practice with this structure. Remember guys, here we are comparing equally. That means that they are basically the same. Look at the next sentences and let's compare, but equally. Imagine that I have the sentence, it says, the blue car and I have the red car. And I want to use the adjective fast. I want to say that they are the same. How, what will be the sentence? Is as uh -huh. fast as the red car. Ah, very good. So mm -hmm. the blue car is as fast as the red car. Very good job, very good job. Okay, I need a volunteer for the number two, please. Me. Who say me? Me. Nelson, Nelson. okay, <laughs> go ahead. Peter is not as tall as Fred. All right, look at this one. In this case, it's negative. Peter is not as tall as Fred. Very good. Nelson, pick one of your classmates, please. A victim. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anna. Anna, okay. <laughs> you are the victim. Congratulations. <laughs> Prize. The violin is not as low as the cello. Yes, pretty good. Something easy, guys, about this topic is that the adjective doesn't need changes. In this case, we don't need to think like, I ah, do I need to add more or do I need to add ER? No, the adjective is the same. So that's pretty easy. Uh, Lorena, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Another victim? Pamela. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Pamela, number four. This copy is as bad as the other one. All right. This copy is as bad as the other one. So that means that they are the same. Pretty good. Pamela, pick someone. Um... Victim. Nelson? He already participated. Okay. Yeah, another one. Wilbur? Wilbur, thank you. Number five, Wilbur. Oliver is as optimist as Peter. Okay, optimistic as? Peter. Peter. That means that they are the same. Excellent. Wilbur, pick someone, please. Anna. She already participated. Another one. Rafael. All right. Rafael, number seven, please. Uh, no, number six. Okay. Today is. Uh, as not windy as yesterday? As not windy as yesterday. Okay, in this case, it's negative. It's negative. Mm, where do I need to it's put not, not? It's not, it's not, ah, it's not, yes, before as. Exactly, as that's correct. If you see, if it is in negative, guys, don't forget. First is not, and then we are going to say the word as. Very good. Okay, volunteer for the number seven, the tomato soup. Mm -hmm. Big team, big team. <laughs> hey, teacher. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Uh, the tomato soup was as delicious as the mm -hmm. mushroom soup. As the mushroom soup. Very good. So we are just saying that they are exactly the same. Um, is it clear, this topic so far? Yes? Easy or difficult? Easy. So, so. 
Easy. Easy. <laughs> okay, now I want you Easy to create to sentences. Imagine, guys, that I want to buy a cell phone, okay? But I don't know which one I have to buy. And I have two options. I can go for a Samsung or I can go for an Apple, uh, an iPhone. Compare them, please, but tell me like they are equal, okay? What can you say? I don't want to compare superiority. I want you to tell me that they are the same. Can you give me examples, please? The Samsung is as big as, as iPhone. A very good. That's a good example. Another one. You can the, use affirmative or the, negative. The... Uh-huh. The Android is as thin as uh, iPhone. Very good. It's as thin as the iPhone. Sounds good. The, the iPhone is as beautiful as Android. Cool. Very good. How about in negative, guys? Give me sentences in negative. Samsung is not as expensive as iPhone. Very good example. I like that. Yeah. What else? What else? Negative. Give me negative sentences. The Samsung is not as 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 good as a, a iPhone. Very good, excellent. So you see, guys, uh, you're iPhones, comparing. iPhone's uh -huh. camera is not as. I'm sorry, I'm lost. No, good. you're doing great. Good. iPhone's maybe? camera is not as good than as as. Uh, uh, Samsung's camera. Yes, very good job. Now, just remember, in this case, we cannot use the word then, okay? We are using only us, us. Got it? Yes? Very good. Okay, in the end, which one should I buy? Samsung or iPhone? Team Samsung. Samsung? Right. Team Samsung? Yes. Wow. <laughs> All right. Now, you know what? Uh, I want to travel, but I don't know where. Can you compare these two countries, please? Mexico and Colombia. The, the cartel Colombia as... Is as... <laughs> Is as uh, bad as cartel Mexican. <laughs> okay, that sounds very negative, but it's a very good sentence. Excellent job. What else, guys? What else can you tell me about these countries? Mexico is as beautiful as Colombia. Very good. Uh huh. Mexico is as big as Colombia. All right, pretty good. Me teacher? Yes, go ahead. Mexico is as dangerous <laughs> as Colombia. <laughs> okay, pretty good. The, the Colombia or, or the team soccer Colombia is, is as uh, good as team Soccer Mexican. Ah, all right. Sounds good. So everybody, we are just comparing. I'm not saying that which country is better. Mm -mm. I'm saying that they are exactly the same. So when you want to compare something, guys, that are equal, remember, 
the structure is as, then the adjective, and then as again. Understood? Yes? Fine. Any questions so far? Yes. Easy or difficult? Easy. 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 Ah, you yeah. see? In group, easy. <laughs> when you when you take the exam in groups, it's easy. And ting, and ting, and ting is <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now listen, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Okay, so we are going to continue tomorrow. But remember that today we have a winner as always. Elias. No, because he, <laughs> he is a baby right now. I'm he has he I'm has to tired. go to sleep there. Oh my guys. <laughs> He's tired uh, because of, <laughs> of, of his birthday. Now the winner for today is Carlos Ernesto. Congratulations, Carlos. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. The rest of you guys, you can go to sleep. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you tomorrow, Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. It's not going to take so long. So, <laughs> hello, Carlos. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, tired? Hi. Are you Are you tired? Yes, a little, a little bit tired. Yeah, I uh, imagine. Uh, I yesterday. Mm, I was Berlin on the center. Really? I, I sleep over there. Oh my gosh. Come back today. So you, you haven't slept a lot. How many hours did you sleep? Um, five hours. Yeah, that's few hours. Okay. Well, Daniel, sleepy. Sleepy is like a somnoliento con sueño. So, si queremos decir something like me siento así como con sueño, decimos sleepy. Mm -hmm. Sleepy. Yeah, a little bit sleepy. Or sleepy. A little, no, a, a little, a, a poquito. A little. Mm -hmm. I am a little sleepy. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so this moment, Carlos, this is just to clarify some questions that you may have. So, so far, how did you feel the topics for today? Uh, <clears throat> uh, at the moment, uh, I understand so far. Um, I I I understand I more and I more understand. I understand more. I understand more you than the, uh, the <laughs> is I don't know maybe uh, the way. Uh, Teach, teach. Ah, you mean you understand Maybe. you understand me previous than the previous course? Yes. Ah, okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um I I have a, a little difficult um uh, the terminology. Um, Marketing, mm -hmm. but uh, I review for me my account. Ah, that's important. That helps a lot. So, um, what do you think is more uh, difficult? Speaking, listening, writing, reading. Which one is more difficult for you? Or English. grammar? What is it? No, the grammar is is. It's easier for me. Ah, oh, that's great. <laughs> uh, more or less, but it's difficult uh, listening. Ah. It's, and I is speaking. Okay. All right. Sometimes so sometimes uh, he put uh, videos, uh, the native English native. Very good. But um. 
is difficult. Try to start with something a little bit easier. For example, I recommend my students to watch uh, cartoon movies. <laughs> Las películas para uh -huh. niños. Eh, Veanlas in English. Uh -huh. Porque if you see, las películas para niños tienen un lenguaje un poquito más fácil. No usan palabras tan complicadas because it's a movie for children. So I recommend you to start watching movies, animated movies, cartoon movies in English. Eh, esas son un poquito más fáciles de irlas entendiendo y a medida vayamos mejorando, vamos cambiando de tipo de películas. All right? That is going to help you a lot. Also, try to listen to music in English, pero si vamos a escuchar música en inglés, tratemos de buscar la letra para que vayamos viendo qué es lo que va diciendo. And of course, no elijamos música así como que un rap o un hip hop de they talk very fast, we are not going to understand. <laughs> yeah, empecemos con algo más tranquilito. And of course, little by little, we are going to increase the difficulties. Okay? Eh, 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 well, equal. Eh, I try speaking, but it's difficult for me. <laughs> but keep going. Lo están haciendo muy bien. Recuerdo la primera clase que todos estábamos así como que, ah, we don't want to talk, we don't want to participate. Pero de hecho este día ya los veo como a todos un poquito más animados. Yo creo que ya agarraron más confianza, right? And that is good. Así que eh, sí, el speaking cuesta, creo que a todos nos ha pasado. Pero como es el que nos cuesta, ese es el que tenemos que practicar más. ¿Ok? Así que en las clases lo quiero siempre bien activo, siempre participando. Aunque nos trabemos un poquito, mm -mm, it doesn't matter, sigamos. Aquí en la clase nos podemos trabar, porque aquí es donde estamos aprendiendo. ¿Ok? Eh, teacher, eh, how do you say soliloquios? <laughs> ¿A what? O por ejemplo, o por ejemplo, eh, I describe, eh, describe something. Uh, I am going to do algo que voy a hacer. In future? I don't know. Yes, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Eh, depende qué es lo que quiera decir. Recuerde si queremos decir como acciones en futuro, podemos usar will. For example, si yo le pregunto qué va a ser el fin de semana. I will eh, sleep. Ese es future. Ah. Ahí estamos describiendo future. Lo, lo que le quería decir era... Si me ayudaría, por ejemplo, ah, hoy voy a hacer esto, esto y tal otra cosa, porque esto, si yo lo trato de, hacer, de hablarlo, me ayudaría. Of no. course, yes, do it. That's the idea. Eh, what we can do, guys, eh, y eso se los mencionaba a sus otros compañeros en la MIRI. Si hay algo que ustedes quisieran practicar en la clase que no sea el topic que nos corresponde a I mí, mean, ustedes pueden decirme qué es lo que quieren practicar. So, en este caso, como usted lo está describiendo, posiblemente es una daily routine porque estamos diciendo lo que estamos haciendo en el día. Ah, tengo que terminar este email, tengo que ir a trabajar, tengo que hacer la comida, tengo que hacer... Y empezamos a decir todo lo que tenemos que hacer. A eso le llamamos una daily routine. So, podemos practicarlo aquí en la clase. Podemos tomarnos unos minutos para ver cómo podemos decir la daily routine. ¿Le parece? Sí. Sí. Pretty good. Ok, voy a ver cómo metemos esos temas, tal vez no mañana, pero sí durante la próxima semana, maybe, podemos tomarnos unos minutos para practicar un poquito ese vocabulary y ver cómo lo podemos speak. Ok. Pretty good. All right. Eh, la única observación que tengo, Carlos, es que no me ha trabajado en la plataforma. Ok. Así sí. que hagamos un esfuerzo de avanzar un poquito, al menos. Ok. Sí. My, uh, tomorrow, all, all, uh, all night. <laughs> no, o sea, oh, tiene que estar todo terminado la semana. Eh, that's the idea. Yes. But no creo, no sé si lo va a lograr hacer because it's. <laughs> I, be, I start tonight. Yes. I mean, listen, um, I always try to give you the weekend. Okay. 
eh, pero sí, remember que siempre están vigilándoles ahí el avance, así que si no lo puede hacer esta semana, pero se comprometen que lo va a hacer el weekend, le puedo dar el weekend. All right. Una, una cosa, uh -huh. eh, a veces la plataforma como que tiene unos errores. Yes. Por alguna yeah. coma, algún punto o algo. Este, cuando no, eh, porque a veces hay que completar ¿verdad? en la casilla. Uh -huh. eh, le puedo chatear al, en el grupo o a usted. In the group. Algo, ¿Alguna ayuda? Lick, eh, ¿pueden tomar una captura de pantalla? Y la envían al grupo. Siempre recomiendo en el grupo porque a veces a mí me mandan como muchos mensajes otros estudiantes y a veces es como se me hace más fácil leer los mensajes en el grupo. Así que y a veces no puedo contestar tan rápido porque estoy en una clase, pero si alguno de sus compañeros ya hizo el ejercicio, ellos lo ven y entre ustedes mismos a veces se pueden ayudar. Así que solo tome la captura de pantalla para que yo vea cuál ejercicio es y así yo les pueda ayudar. Ok. okay. Excellent. All right, Carlos, we are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Okay, same to you. Good night. Bye. See you.